Well, our history goes back to 1994 when uh, representing my company, I made the decision to license the technology, and uh, really a breakthrough technology invented here at the University of Florida Med School in a uh, anesthesia simulator, but later called a human patient simulator. So we realized that there was a commercial potential, but it also had a, a, a societal uh, implication as well to improve medical education and break through new ways and new technology in medical education. And from that we started our company. Uh, we continued the relationship with the university and tech transfer but with the medical school in terms of using their clinical expertise uh, for a number of years after that. When we finally were able to create something that was very viable in, in terms of its commercial application in education, and we sold the company, we really felt blessed in terms of what we were able to achieve, the relationships that we made. I said to Lou, it was time to give back, and I felt that on account of what he did achieve, and I really do think from a perspective of an individual bringing a, um, a, a, a science, a technology, in, into an application that is being used all over the world, that a, a legacy was needed for Lou as well, and also a legacy for the school here and those people that were part of the team. So uh, I was very much a part of the encouragement and really didn't need a lot of encouragement with Lou to go ahead and to make this gift to the university. It was kind of giving back, coming full circle for something that started 20 years ago with the same people. There are inventions and new designs and new curriculum going on all the time here at the University of Florida in our medical school. We're innovating every day. The use of the new, the transition to the new curriculum, which really fits the purpose of this building. Because again, uh, here at the medical school, we designed the new curriculum and then designed the building, as opposed to building a building and figuring out how we want to use it. That in itself is innovative. The reality of the technology transfer regime mindset here at the University of Florida is unlike anywhere else in the country, perhaps even in the world. The marriage of technology and clinical application is going on today and it's going on in terms of licensing, in terms of new technology, in terms of new companies. This center, this learning center, along with this simulation and, and learning experiential learning theater will be a soundstage, a laboratory, if you will, for new technologies, new applications, and new breakthroughs in not only healthcare and medical education, but healthcare in general. That's the important, that's the value of what we have here at the University of Florida. So I'm very happy to be here today to witness what this theater is going to mean to students that are going to be able to study here and train in the Lou Obendorf Experiential Learning Theater, part of the Medical Center. The thing that drives us today that was always important, and that is patient safety. Uh, that's what we're about. We're about, that, uh, we're about patient safety and constantly monitoring and improving patient safety, not only here in the medical school where we, where we first introduce the need for patient safety to our students, but over in Shands and, and the application of, of health care. Uh, it's, a, it's a philosophy that permeates our entire health center complex here in Gainesville. Uh, we're about patient safety. We're making improvements in, in patient safety and the comfort of, of, of patients and the patient experience. But it starts here in the medical school. That's what this experiential learning theater is about, is where we can experiment, but we can also learn by doing in a safe environment because that's going to translate uh, to patient, enhance patient safety and enhanced patient experience. And we believe outcomes as well.